every architect, irrespective of his talents, gets an opportunity to you know, leave his marks on the earth. So our philosophy is that architecture should respond uh, to the site, context, of course then the climate of the site and, and the time. It should belong to the time in which it is built. When you think of a circuit house, what comes to your mind? A chaos. Because you know, circuit house, uh, uh, the, the occupants, the users are normally VIPs like ministers or M MLS MPs or uh, uh, you know, government officers and, and common people. So, in most of circuit houses, the conventional designs we find that it's a chaotic situation because of this. So, it was important to take care of uh, circulation and zoning of this building, and that was. Uh, one of the challenge for us. Architectural spaces should be in harmony with the nature. This space merges with the outside space, you know, and there is hierarchy of spaces like that. In indoor spaces, then buffer spaces, and outdoor spaces. So my basic philosophy is that it should not be a closed air conditioned box. The spaces should be in harmony with the nature, they should flow out and that's how architecture should be. Basically when we started designing this project, uh, right from day one we knew that we have to design a green building because we had this thing in mind that we need to change the definition of uh, government building. On that front we knew that to do a green building it has to be a collaborative effort, it has to be a team effort along with the client, the consultants, us and even the contractor. When we started designing, even right at the basic level of planning, we applied all the passive strategies. So if we see how this building, uh, building is set up on the site, we already have one existing building. We had a foreground which had big trees in it. So we set up the building accordingly uh, so that it doesn't disturb the surroundings on the site. As far as the style is concerned, we believe that uh, this should be contemporary vernacular architecture. You can use vernacular ethos. For example, like a courtyard is a very old feature in vernacular architecture. If you see the traditional vadas of uh, any old uh, city, like even in Pune, we have just traditional vadas, which is a good feature climatically. So the same thing we can use because it's climatically good, good for our uh, tropical uh, climate in a contemporary style and this is what you see here in this building. The building planning is such the rooms are around the courtyard, they are on the north and south side of the uh, building. So what it does is basically the planning takes care of is according to the climate, so it's a complete example of a climate responsive architecture. We can cut the sun on the north and south side, so according to the climate of Pune, the building is designed and each facade responds to the orientation. So basically north and south facade have a different facade and uh, on the west wing of the building it's completely designed in such a way that it has a lot of openness to take the air inside but the other masses on the west are dead so that because to deal with solar radiation which comes from the west side it is a difficult thing it, it becomes very difficult so we have our services on that side we have a staircase we have a conference room which is very rarely used and also it has those vertical louvers so it takes care of the sun whenever it's there there is a water body in the courtyard, there is a landscape in the courtyard. So this water body acts as a evaporative cooling technique for the because there are a lot of waiting areas which are designed in the courtyard. So courtyard acts as an extension of the main building. We have chosen materials which are of course eco-friendly. So the tiles for example which are used in the suites have recycled content in it. So they are ceramic tiles. The flooring which is used is a granite flooring. There is a lot of rough granite which is being used in the courtyard and very basic polished granite which is used for the passages. So there is a natural stone which is used. We have used a lot of fly ash while doing the concreting also in the plaster. The way the masonry is done, it's uh, uh, AAC masonry. So again where we have avoided the uh, mortar, it is mortar free masonry. Uh, overall the building has become light because of AAC blocks. So we have saved lot on a structural steel which is uh, which needed to be used in the building. 
to do that uh, we have uh, not only the planning but active strategies also there, uh, there apart from the passive strategy so we have a solar panels on the rooftop which uh, take care of 22 kilowatt of energy requirement uh, for the building also the hvac which is used for the building it's energy efficient hvac building we have used double glazed windows for the uh, facades and each glass is according to the orientation so the the uh, the qualities of the glass or the specification which was required was according to the orientation so the overall effect is the hvac requirement itself has reduced and then the hvac system which is installed is again energy efficient so overall energy performance index has come down by 42% water management of this building we have used water efficient fixtures which save around 50% of the uh, the requirement uh, if again the water which is used in the building is getting recycled with the help of stp and that is getting used for the irrigation of the building and we have used all native plants in the landscape so again the water requirement which is there is reduced uh, so overall there is a lot of saving of water the stp that we have installed for this building is a phytorid based organic stp the landscape of this building has uh, has been uh, it's a little different than the usual landscape it's inspired by the architecture of the building so the way it form it, it is it has all native trees uh, the plant we have planted around 100 new trees but the design in the landscape is inspired by architecture uh, and we have a lot of uh, waiting areas which are created in the landscape because of the function of the building we have used lot of grass pavers so we had this we had to leave the road around the building for fire and a moment so that is done in entirely grass pavers so we have reduced the hardscape and we have increased the softscape uh, in the planning this building has got uh, five star rating from griha being a government building we wanted to stamp that green yeah green certification and we did that uh, the energy performance of the building is 42% lower than the benchmark I'm proud and very happy to say that this building has earned that five star rating from Griha, which is the first PWD building of Maharashtra.